Happy brew day. I'm just getting my uh, water chemistry right. So, some sodium metabisulfite or Camden tablets. Half a teaspoon of gypsum. And one teaspoon of calcium carbonate and calcium chloride. We're making uh, an imperial stout today. So, see you in a few minutes when we mash in. Alright. One of the best three things I learnt last year was sparge water pH. 7.6, that's too high. So I'm just going to add some citric acid to bring it down. You'd be surprised how little it takes to bring it down. Probably only oh, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. There, six. Perfect to sparge with. Time to measure the mash pH. Now you shouldn't need to add any acids to this water uh, when you're making a stout because the um, the dark malts, the roasted malts, do add acidity to it. And we're looking at 5.1. Perfect. All right, we can mash in. All right, I've stirred the word throughout the first half hour of the mash, and I'll give this uh, about another 30 minutes. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a grain bill. I used a grain bill this big, it's 7.5 kilos, and I was worried it was going to be stuck. But I think this proves my, um, my milling methods for, for this system works pretty well. And it's one and a half, 1.4 millimeters, uh, and I run it through the mill twice. So even with seven and a half kilos of grain, and that includes half a kilo of um, oats. It's still not sticking, so there's a good flow coming through the pump, and that'll recirculate. See you in a while. Mash is done. Time to sparge. I'm bringing this to the boil, not really getting any much grain particles in there, so I can take it out, put in the hop spider, and bringing this to the boil, doing 30 grams of Super Pride. Alright, we're uh, sanitising our wort chiller and in go our flavour hops 30 grams of EKG and there's about 20 minutes left in the boil alright 15 minutes left in the boil throw in our yeast nutrient and our whirl flock alright we're just letting it stand to let all the proteins drop out um, and while we do that We'll rehydrate our yeast. All right, we've aerated our wort. There's our rehydrated yeast. Out of the yeast, I will uh, go and put some uh, distilled water in this and we'll rinse it out. But there's the Imperial Stout Brew Day. See you in a couple of months when this is conditioned.